Today we're going to discuss the types of statistical tests and how to solve them in PSPP. So for this presentation, we're going to use PSPP to solve for the statistical analysis and Excel to encode your data. The problem in this presentation is found in Modern Business Statistics with Microsoft Office Excel. As a review, these are the steps in hypothesis testing. Number one, state the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. Number two, choose the level of significance. Number three, select the appropriate test statistic and establish the critical region. Number four, collect the data and compute the value of the test statistic from the sample data. And number five, make the decision. In this presentation, we're going to discuss person product moment correlation coefficient or your person correlation for short or person R. So the person product moment correlation coefficient is a measure of strength and direction of association that exists between two variables measured at least on at least an interval scale. So either there is a positive correlation or a negative correlation or no correlation between two variables. Okay? So for example, we may use person's correlation to understand whether there is an association between examination performance and time spent revising. You may also use person's correlation to understand whether there is an association between depression and length of unemployment. Okay? So either negative or positive correlation. So assumptions for person are the two variables should be measured at the interval or ratio level. So example, customer satisfaction, intelligence. Okay. There is a linear relationship between the two variables. You can confirm this using a scatter plot diagram also in PSPP. Number three, the variables should be approximately normally distributed. So for correlation, there is at least rate is greater than 20. Then there should be no significant outliers. So meaning if you do a scatter plot diagram, there is no data that goes away from your linear correlation or for the, if in the scatter plot. So if ever there is a data that will do that, you can remove that one because person R does, is high, greatly affected by outliers. Okay. And then there is independence of observation. So meaning your respondents, it should be not it should not be the same. So procedure in PSPP, so encode your data for variable one and variable two in PSPP. Then click on analyze by variate correlation. And select both variables to compare. If you have three variables, select two at a time for the linear comparison. So let's have this problem. A Department of Transportation study on driving speed and miles per gallon for mid-sized automobiles resulted to the listed data. Is speed and gallons consumed significantly related at 0.05 level of significance? Okay, so HHO, there is no significant relations between speed and gallons consumed. And HA, there is significant relationships between speed and gallons consumed. Then our... Critical value is 0 0.05 level of significance. The test statistic to do is person correlation since the question is, is there a relationship between speed and gallons? Okay. The critical region is that the p-value should be less than 0 0.05 to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. So let's go to the problem. Okay. So speed per miles and miles per gallon. Okay. So in your PSPP, you simply type this one as speed. Okay, you can actually have R1, our respondents, or let's have car one. Okay. Then speed, speed and miles per gallon. So this is miles. Gallon. Okay. And then since this is respondent, so that's zero, and this is just simply nominal. Then for speed, okay, so you can have this one as zero, this is also zero. And then both are scale, so that's okay. So have that one. And you can simply copy. Okay, well you can have one, two for car one and two. Okay, so there are ten cars. C 
see. So copy. Then you paste this one in the SPP. Okay. Then you can do your, you can check for scatter plot. Okay. So Y axis and X axis, or you can interchange the two. Okay. Let's see a an outlier or the data that is, you know, typically moves away from the data set. So usually there is a linear relationship. Okay. You can actually draw a straight line. So that's a linear relationship. So and then analyze by variate correlation. Okay. Then speed and miles per gallon. Okay. So you can you do a, either a two-tailed test or a one-tailed test. Okay. You can also check if there is flag significant correlation. So I can just ignore. And just click OK. okay. Then so this is now your person correlation, sig two tail. This is 0 0.00. A sig to tail is 0 0.00. So meaning, and speed and miles per gallon 0 0.00. There is a significant relationship between your speed and miles per gallon. And since this is negative, it's a negative relationship. As you can see, this is actually a negative relationship because our graph is going downwards. It's a positive relationship if ang imong graph is from 0 to... Okay, so as the speed increases, the miles per gallon consumed also increases. So this one, as the speed increases... Or as the miles per gallon increases, the speed decreases, okay? As the miles per gallon increases, the speed decreases. So that's why it's a negative relationship, okay? So that's for, so that's for person correlation.